it's time for our scripture of the day update. Today we're asking the question, have we really made any progress in your faith? And this is the question that the Apostle Paul is asking in 1 Thessalonians 3. That's our scripture of the day. And Paul, he's given us the history between him and the Thessalonian church. In chapter 1, he came and preached in the gospel, and the word of the Lord echoed and resounded. In chapter 2, he describes how he loved these people like a family, but he was torn apart from them, hindered from coming to them by Satan himself. And then in chapter 3, he says when he could bear it no longer, he decided to send Timothy to them to see how they were doing. Had they fallen away? Had they been tempted by the tempter? Or were they standing firm in the faith? And what he gets here in 1 Thessalonians 3 is the progress report. Timothy comes back and he says that when he sent Timothy, when they could bear it no longer, he sent to learn about their faith. And then he says in verse six, but now that Timothy has come to us from you and has brought us the good news of your faith and love and reported that you always remember us kindly and long to see us as we long to see you. For this reason, brothers, we have been comforted about you through your faith. So he cares so much about these people, but he's separated from them. So he sends Timothy to them. He says, I'd rather send Timothy to you than have him here with me. So even if I'm alone, I want to hear about how your faith is doing. And when Timothy brings back this report that they have faith and they're making progress, what joy Paul experiences because of their faith. And he says, and my favorite verse from this chapter, verse 8, for now we live if you are standing fast in the Lord. Like Paul's saying, real living for him is when the people that have been made disciples are walking with Jesus Christ. Like we know John says this later in 3 John, there's no greater joy than to know that your children are walking in the truth, in the faith. And he's not talking about his children or his grandchildren biologically, physically. He's talking about people that have been made disciples of Jesus and to see them living out their faith. There's no greater joy than that for someone who's been making disciples. And Paul, when he gets this good progress report that their faith is progressing, he's so blessed, he's so encouraged, he prays for them. That's what 1 Thessalonians 3 is all about, the progress report. And Pastor Bill and I, as we were thinking about this chapter, we thought it would be a fitting time to have a scripture of the day progress report because this right here, 1 Thessalonians 3, this is chapter 185 of the New Testament that we've done together. There's 185 videos on this YouTube channel, scripture of the day. That means we have 75 left to go. I mean, if you wanna look at it visually, here's the New Testament right here. And you can see this little book is where 1 Thessalonians is. We've done all of this, 185 chapters. We got 75 chapters left to go. But if you look at it and we consider doing the Old Testament, I mean, notice the size differential, everybody. 929 chapters. So 185 feels like a lot over here. 185 can get lost over here, barely makes a dent in it. And so we're wondering, hey, what is the future of scripture of the day? Is it 75 more chapters and that's it? We're done? I mean, 75 chapters, you break that down. I mean, I don't have math shoe here with me right now, but you divide 75 by five. I mean, say there's five days a week. That, that means we got like 15 weeks left of scripture of the day. That's what it means if there's only 75 left. Or are we going to have to really figure out a process to make this sustainable for years and do 929 more chapters? So we're wondering what difference is scripture of the day really making? We're trying to encourage people to get in the Bible every single day that we don't gather as a church and we're praying that there would be a revival that would come from the Bible. But what difference has it made in your faith? Are we really making progress? So for the first time ever in Scripture of the Day history, we want you to send us content. 
Really what we would like is video content. Now, if that's just intimidating, if you can't make a video, you could just leave a comment on this video, 1 Thessalonians 3, the progress report, and let us know, hey, has scripture of the day made a difference in your life? And you're gonna have to convince us of it. Like, like, when did you start? What chapter did you start with? Are you really sticking with it? Do you do it every day? Are you behind? Do you skip around and hit some chapters but miss others? Like, what does this really matter to you? Is this something we should keep doing? That's a real question. We want, And not just are you doing it, that's not even really the issue. It's like, is it helping you grow? Is it helping you get in the Word? Is it bringing you into community with other people from our church and really getting in the Word together? Now, we would love for you to get creative and actually make a video. You can just leave a comment like we've done before, and that'll help us, give us a sense like, it, has it helped you make progress in your faith? Do you think we should keep doing it into the Old Testament? I mean, there's a real question. I'm telling you honestly, there's a question whether we're going to do the Old Testament or not. This is sincere. We don't know if we can keep doing it. And so we're wondering, is it worth doing? What kind of progress are we making in really helping our brothers and sisters in Christ in their faith in Jesus? Uh, we'd love to hear from you in a comment, but maybe you could even make a video. Okay, so one way you can make a video that's pretty easy and you could get it to us pretty easy is if you got your, if you got your, uh, your phone, if you have a, a cell phone, uh, you, could, you could just get open to your YouTube app, all right? So um, if you have your YouTube app right there in front of you and you can see what I'm looking at right there on your screen, if you look at the YouTube app, and we got Scripture of the Day coming up here, you can see these videos. Well, if you just hit the uh, record, there's a record button right there in the YouTube app, and it'll just pop up, and it'll say create video, and so you hit on that, and then you hit record, and boom, there you are. And you say, hey, I'm here for Scripture of the day, ha 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 ha. Hey, let me tell you, and you could find a fun way, you and your family, to make a video and talk about what it means to you on Scripture of the day. Then you stop the recording. Uh, actually, oops, see, maybe you're like me, you're not that good at it. Now we actually started recording, ha 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 ha. We stop it. Stop okay. the recording. Oh, there it is, uh, now you're actually, watching the video, oops. you're seeing it, you can trim it, you can edit it, you can add music to it, or you could just upload it Boom, you upload it, and now you're sharing it, and you could share it right there on YouTube. You could link to it in the comments. So that's one way, quick and easy. If you download the YouTube app, you could make a video like that. Another thing we'll do is we'll have the Scripture of the Day computer out this weekend at a table in the back lobby. So this is something all weekend long. You have a chance between when you come on Saturday night or Sunday morning if you're coming to church this weekend. Uh, go ahead and make a video. And then if you made it on your phone, you could just airdrop it onto the computer. If you make it on your computer and you have one of those little flash drives, you could bring in your flash drive, we'll download it onto the computer. But we'd love to actually see you expressing yourself in a video, answering the question, has Scripture of the Day helped you make any progress in your faith? And we want to hear from you. And then we'll get back to you for more here on Scripture of the Day.